Right. Hello, forgive me, this is uh, my first YouTube video. I just wanted to show this. Uh, it is my Raspberry Pi powered handheld device. I just took uh, Luan, made the case. I'm sorry, I don't have a directions on such a thing. It was really a seat of the pants kind of thing. Kind of did it on the fly. Kept on adding things. Uh, it's, it's bigger than I wanted it to be. Um, but uh, it's, it's a good size. I mean, it's, it's handheld. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Well, I just... Uh, no, let's move it up. All right, there it is. I used a cabinet hinge here. Just uh, it's a self-closing cabinet hinge, but it's able to hold it in place for where I want it to be. Uh, I took a SNES uh, USB gamepad. It's an imitation SNES, and uh, hacked it apart. Just stuck it to the bottom side of this piece of Luan with all its guts still there so it's the buttons work. Uh, shoulder buttons, I wish they could have been in the, in the right place, but uh, there's no room for that. Um, this is a wireless uh, keyboard and mouse combination. Um, fits in, pressure fits, it's in there tight, it creaks a little bit, which is kind of bothersome, but <clears throat> anyway, um, I took a, a PowerGen mobile juice battery and um, used that to power both the Pi and the 4.3 inch monitor, it was one of those car, uh, rear view car backup cameras originally 12 volt but I uh, used the 5 volt hack just to, I jumped off a resistor that was already in there the power cord is attached right to that resistor it was a little tiny bit of solder there that I was able to actually attach it to I got lucky um, everyone else uses the 3.5 seems to have a good time with the legs on that but uh, these are a couple of dollar store speakers that were this my crappy holes I put in it. Um, let me uh, power it on. Uh, uh, yeah, the, pad, the battery indicator is in the bottom. That's because of the way the battery had to be for fitting all the wires in there. And then I, I have a separate switch down here. The little LED that shows when it turns on, and I actually have a uh, outlet here, uh, which I just I hacked apart. A, a jack, uh, use that in case I'm near an outlet. Uh, the monitor is really hard to read, so I there we go. Uh, use the console setup to raise the font up a little bit. It's, uh, it's actually pretty readable, not bad at all. Um, the uh, sign on uh -oh. there we go um, really really usable um, you know uh, the, the size for my hands perfect for gaming and for you know, text entry and it's actually not not that bad at all I could probably do some fairly light typing I, mean, I wouldn't want to write uh, a lot of stuff um, just show, show an action a little bit it's uh, Run main. Um, hopefully.
hopefully you can see this. Hopefully you can see something. This is a game I found called Ryujin. It's a shoot 'em up. play uh, one-handed and there's no sound again let's see here what's going on well, all right well Actually, the sound is not too bad. Uh, you know, I wouldn't want to play it in the, with a lot of other sounds going on. Uh, pretty hard to play one handed again, but you get the idea. Very, uh, very usable. Um, I've been having a blast with it. It's perfect for this kind of game. Um, I had the Pi overclocked to 900 megahertz. And uh, I can't go any more than that. Uh, anyway, it's a great game here. I, I'm not usually not very good at these kind of games, but this one's pretty forgiving. Very uh, slow bullets and whatnot. <laughs> but uh, anyways, for this kind of thing, this uh, you know really works good. The small monitor. Uh, actually, it does not look uh, as fuzzy as a lot of people have been claiming. It's hard to see in this video, but um, it's just uh, really not bad. Anyway, uh, let's back out of there and uh, I'll just, just start up X here. X Windows. I mean, it's great, you know, it doesn't make it any kind of sound. Uh, the, uh, the mouse works really well on this gamepad, um, you know, keyboard, it's not too bad at all. Um, I have it so that it's set up that I can, uh, this is my Wi-Fi dongle, and I have to hot swap it to, uh, to get, uh, but once you have it set up um, it just works <laughs> which is very cool you can just plug it in um, I'll just use the easiest one just open it up here netsurf and uh, This comes in real handy for, I gotta admit, the Wi Fi. Once I got it working, uh, updating the Raspberry Pi and everything, and installing packages is so much easier with the Wi Fi. I just love it. And when I'm done with the, with the Wi Fi, I just unplug it. Of course, plug the USB back in. Of course, 
here is one of my favorites. This is oh, well, or nothing. Uh -huh. Vice, which uh, runs really well. I highly suggest Vice for six, eight, C64. Perfect on this. And yeah, here's one of my old favorites. This is a Bandits. I have an Apple II on here too, the uh, Lin Apple, and that works really well uh, with good speed. Anyway, so uh, there it is. Uh, thanks for watching.